didn't join because we saw what it was and we didn't like it. So we created a competitor called the European Free Trade Area because that was all about free trade. Within a matter of years, virtually every member of the European Free Trade Area had joined the community, as did we. So we all knew exactly what was happening. This was started as a revulsion against three wars yeah, sure, in 75 sure, years. But, 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 I mean, and look, what it has actually achieved is 70 years of I peace don't in doubt, Europe. I don't doubt for a minute your belief in this project. You've had it, you know, you've believed in it for over half a century. The point I'm making is that people like my parents feel that, frankly, and whilst I accept you knew it was political, but people like my parents uh, basically voted believing it was about trade and are pretty upset a few years on. Next question. I know you've always been an enthusiast for getting rid of the pound, and you supported us joining the exchange rate mechanism in 1990, which, of course, led to record bankruptcies and house repossessions in 1992. But the last time I looked... Um, you were saying at the end of 2014 you still wanted Britain to join the Euro. Do you still think it's a good thing for this country to join the Euro? I think that there will come a time when Britain will join. And I will just tell you, I went through all these arguments with the litre and uh, the pound uh, and all of that, um, uh, the metre, the litre. It was all a huge, great row. Actually, if you ask the younger generation, they can't even remember there was a row. Now, th it would not be right to join the euro today, and I have never said it would, would be, but I do think that if the European venture proceeds and succeeds, and I believe it will, warts and all, then it will come a time when Britain will reconsider that decision.